Hi, this is Avinash Sharma and in this session, we will discuss the GUID versus Unique Identifier in SQL Server. What is the GUID? GUID stands for Globally Unique Identifier and also we can call it the Unique Identifier. GUID are typically 128 and the 32 digits. The pattern of the GUID are the, the first part of the 8 digit, second part, 4 digit, then third part, 4 digits and again fourth part, 4 digit and finally, it's a 12 digits. Basically, GUID generate a number and that is the unique. Unique means across the tables, across the database and across the servers. Suppose we have a table and we create the primary key, then primary key generates a unique value. But in another table, if we create the primary key, then we can create the same value in the second table with the primary key. But if you create the GUID, then that uh, key is unique across all the tables. How to use the GUID in SQL Server? As we discussed. So GUID is a data type. So when we want to generate the GUID, then we can declare the data type unique identifier. And to generate the value for this data type, then we use the new ID. So this will generate the 32 digits a value that is the unique across the tables across the database. Why do we need the GUID? We can check with this practical. So as you can see, we have a two table class A and class B. So first of all, we create this table and in both table, we have the roll number with the primary key. Then auto generated column that is the identity. So first of all, I create this table. Then data into the class A, I create second table class B. Then insert in data in class B. Now I check the data for both class. So you can see, you can observe. Roll number is the primary key. It means unique roll number in each and every table. And we have the data with the student name. Now the my, my requirement is I want to merge the these two tables. So if I use the union all this one and execute this one then so union all what is the function of the union all? It merges the output of the two query two or multiple query. So right now we have the two table and we have the one output from the this union all function but the problem is roll number this roll number they are the unique in their own table but when we merge the data now we have the duplicate roll number so this is a problem so what is the solution solution is the guid so first of all we drop the bot table and now the first table the class a and we have the primary key so the data type of the primary key is the int now we can make it unique identifier then default say new id so as we discussed this unique identifier is a data type and this will generate a unique value across the table with the new id okay we do the same thing with the another table now default also default default now we create the class a now insert the data now class b and insert the data now we check the data so as we discussed 
the GUID. It's a 32 digits number. You can see. And these numbers or this pattern is unique across all the tables in a database. Even in the database, across the database is a unique. Now, if we check this one, now you can see the duplicacy of the roll number gone because across the table we have a unique value that is the roll number. So this is how we can resolve this issue. Now we check the more example on the GUID. First of all, declare say GD then So as we discussed, this is the data type. Now select GD. Okay, if we execute this one, then we get null because we declared the variable, but we did not assign the value. So how to assign the value to the unique identifier? GUID. Say set GD equal to new ID. Now, if I execute, then I get this 32 digits number. Every time I execute, then I get the new pattern, new digits. Now, how to create the empty GUID? There are two approaches using the hexadecimal value or by a pattern. So, first of all, we use set gd. Equal to this one. Now, we can check if gd equal to 0, zero empty. Begin and else begin then end now we can print the value of the grid so I print then gd print guid is empty then we can do the same thing say print gd and print guid is not empty now if you check this one so guid is empty because we are using the hexadecimal and this hexadecimal generates a empty guid or zero value and other approaches we command this one and we can use the pattern set gd equal to then pattern of the 32 digits so first of all it's a 8 4 4 4 and finally 12 digits so we can use this pattern now if we check again so gid is the empty now we assign some value to this GID say GD equal to new ID. Now, if we check, GID is not empty and we have a value for this GID. So, this is how we can create the empty GID and assign the value to that empty GID. So, guys, this was all about the GID in SQL Server. Thanks for watching the video.